Hello everyone, so let's talk a little bit about the entrance uh, animation from Elementor and how to uh, greatly uh, improve them. So here I have an Elementor template with a few animations. So as you see, it's zooming in from the left, from the right, uh, from below. And it's kind of all right, but really it's, uh, it looks a bit dated. It's moving, it's flying in from, from like very far and uh, it's creating all kind of havoc really with, with the scroll bars showing a, a, and a bunch of other stuff. So let's see how we can improve this. Well, first, let me explain to you what the problem is and, and why why when we add uh, fade in left and fade in right, it, it comes from so far away. So as you see, it, it really like comes from really far. So why, why is this and why, why do, don't we have any control? So let's have a look at the code uh, for, for this section. So the animation is set on the section, it's fade in left. We are going to look just as though, uh, at uh, those four animation fade in left, right, up and down because most of the other animations they just are not really good at all so we, we won't even bother about them but we will be improving those four fade in animations so egg fade in left we can see that it comes from the animations.min.css file so let's just click on it let's format it so that uh, it's easier to read and then let's have a look why it comes from so far. So here we have the keyframes for this animation. Let me zoom in a bit so that we can see everything really good. And the problem comes from it. So it goes from opacity zero, which is perfectly fine, but transform, it goes from negative 100%. And that's where the problem is. So this is for fade-in left. And for the four fade-ins, it's the same problem. It always uses this 100% uh, uh, translate value. So 100%, well, what does it mean? Well, it just means 100% of the container width in the case of fade-in right and left because like it's 100% of, of the rectangle essentially. So if it comes from the left, it will be its width. And if it's uh, fading up like A, then it's its height, 100% of the height for this whole section. So that's, that's where the problem comes from. And it's a little bit better if you uh, add the animations directly to the elements. You see in the case for those three, I added it directly to the element. So 100% A is much less than 100% of the section, which is essentially the whole viewport A. For these, 100% is about from A to maybe A, uh, ex because we exclude like the, the bit of padding. So that's why these, they don't move as much. And what that does is also that it makes the animations uh, very inconsistent. So like these, even if they are set to fade in uh, right, and this section is also set to fade in right, they don't have the same animation. So these comes like this, and then this section zooms in like it looks quicker, but really it's not that it's quicker, it's just that it's moving at much greater distance in the exact same time but the animation itself is the same so now that you know uh like what the problem is how do we fix it well really the only way to fix this is to replace the uh, this default code with some other code so what i've done is i uh, again just focusing on those four fade uh, down left uh, up and right. I kind of rewrote the code a little bit. The only thing I change is this 100%. I change it to 30 pixels. So now, no matter what kind of element, no matter its size, it will always move in 
uh, with the, like from 30 pixels, depending on the direction. So if it's fired up, then it move, will come in from like from up. And if it's fired right, it will come in from the right uh, and so on. So the only thing you have to do to replace essentially, what, what this will do is it will replace your current animations uh, with, with these types. There is nothing else to do. Uh, it, they will still all work as they were working before. We are essentially switching the default style sheet with this one. And just for those four animations. The other animation, we don't modify them. So how oh, you can add this to your pages, you just go... Uh, well, I would suggest actually that to, uh, to add this like across your website is the easiest way. So you could go in the customizer, you could add it A, or you could add it in your child team uh, styles.css file, or in a code snippet from the code snippet plugin. All those options are good. Uh, but now for demonstration and to compare, I will add it directly to, to this page so that we will be able to preview the, the two different pages at the same time. So let's just add it. Let's publish. And now I didn't change anything else. These, uh, if we have a look, uh, they are still set exactly the same way using these element talk settings. So the only thing I've added is uh, the code. So now let's preview the page. Now let's see what the results are. So this looks much more uh, professional to me. Instead of having like this zooming across uh, like from very far and the whole page jumping about, it's very subtle. Uh, it's, it's very clean. It's, it's much more professional. And, and that's more the kind of animation that the users will enjoy. And uh, just another thing, you might uh, notice that there is a small scroll, scroll box uh, showing up because this one comes in from the right. So it starts like 30 pixels off to the right. That's why a scroll box momentarily shows up. Uh, the way to fix this is to instead move your uh, entrance animation to the columns. So I set it to in both columns. And then on the section, you uh, remove the uh, entrance animation. So let's remove it. And then you set the uh, overflow to hidden. Let's uh, update now and let's have a look. And no horizontal scrolling bar uh, while the animation is taking place. And now, of course, it looks exactly the same because again, now we have this 30 pixel, fixed 30 pixel, no matter the size of the element we are animating. So that's uh, pretty much it. So let's have a look again at the improved version. And this was before. So yeah, a lot. A lot of movement. And finally, this is after. Much better, I think uh, most people would agree. All right, so get the code and, uh, and more information about all of this uh, in the article. And let me know what else you'd like to learn about. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you uh, very soon. Cheers.